Now, here at Vion, we are tracking all the developments in Africa very, very closely, especially in the Niger region. Now, in the recent, in the latest, the African Union is at loggerheads with the ECOWAS bloc over what sort of approach to take when it comes to dealing with the situation in Niger. While ECOWAS is gearing up for a military intervention, the African Union is disagreeing with ECOWAS and says it is fiercely against any kind of military intervention to solve the solution or bring a solution to Niger. Meanwhile, the junta appointed Prime Minister Lamine Zen made an unannounced visit to Chad on Wednesday. He met with his counterpart there, President Mohamed Idris Debi Itno. Listen to this. We arrived with a message from the head of the state of Niger, General Tiani, expressing his solidarity and fraternity and asking me to reiterate the feeling of good neighborliness and brotherhood between Chad and Niger. Now this comes even as Niger stares down the barrel of a possible military intervention by ECOWAS nations. As a result, supporters of the Niger junta are calling for mass mobilization of citizens against threat of military action. Several civilian groups are calling volunteers from across the country to register to support the country's armed forces. Now, as per reports, the junta is aware of the call for mobilization, but not involved in the recruitment drive itself, which is set to begin from Saturday in the capital of Niamey. Meanwhile, on Monday, the Peace and Security Council, the PSC of the African Union, held a meeting which diplomats termed was tense and tedious. At the end of the meeting, the group decided to suspend Niger from all African Union activities. Now, there was another major face-off which is brewing among African nations. The African Union and the ECOWAS group, which is of course not on the same page regarding the situation in Niger. The chiefs of the general staffs of the armed forces of ECOWAS member countries are convening in Ghana's capital on Thursday and Friday for a meeting to discuss a military intervention in Niger. Meanwhile, the African Union is opposing any military action. A report by a French newspaper citing diplomatic sources who attended the African Union meeting on Monday says the group is disagreeing with ECOWAS and said it is fiercely against any military intervention. This development came after a meeting that ran for over 10 hours, which has been described as, as extremely tense. Now, this position was by an official press release on Wednesday, giving out all the details. Meanwhile, the newly appointed United States Ambassador to Niger, Kathleen Fitzgibbon, is set to arrive in Niamey later this week. This is as per the U.S. State Department. Listen to this. She is going there to lead uh, the mission during a critical time and to support the American community and to coordinate on the U.S. government's effort. It is a, a signal of the United States' continued engagement in this uh, situation. Uh, it is not a signal of any change uh, in U.S. policy as it relates to the circumstances uh, in Niger. Uh, we have been quite clear of what we want to see happen. We want to see President Bazoum and his family released. We want to see the constitutional order in Niger respected. That uh, was the case. Case, um, this whole time, and that will be the case whenever Ambassador Fitzgibbons gets to Niamey as well.